Okay, how are you dear students? Today we are going to proceed with our lesson. Our topic is climatology, but today we shall look about uh, the vertical structure of atmosphere. And uh, I think on our previous lesson we discussed about the pressure and uh, we discussed about temperature. But uh, after to finish the vertical structure of atmosphere, we shall start another lesson on the next session. We shall look about uh, the issue of uh, wind system and uh, factors affecting winds. Okay, let us start our lesson. Uh, specific objective of the lesson today, just uh, we are going to uh, to make sure that every student should have understood uh, what is uh, or define what is atmosphere. Second one, vertical structure of atmosphere, and the last one. Uh, advantages of atmosphere for living things. What are the advantages of uh, atmosphere for living things? In Kiswahili, it means that leo katika small letu la leo, tunakuenda kujifunza nini maana atmosphere, vertical structure yake ikoje, lakini pia na faida au muhimu wa atmosphere kwa biombe hai. Okay, let us start. Acha tuwanze, what is atmosphere? What is atmosphere? Nini maana ya atmosphere? Atmosphere is a envelope of, of gases, ni mgubiko wa gases, different gases, they are surrounding the earth, unozunguka dunia, that is held in the place, ambazo zimejizuia, zimejikusanya katika sehemu, by the force of gravity, kutokana ile force of gravity. Nini force of gravity? Force of gravity is a force exacted by the by the earth surface there ambazo hizi sasa zinakuwa zinakizuia kitu katika aina either kina 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 zinaruhusu kitu kiweze kutoka juu kuja za kina chini ama kibakie katika sehemu katika it is on position katika position yake maalum of the of that body there ina maana tunapozungumzia atmosphere na kusema kwamba is a envelope of gases ni ule mkusanyiko wa gases au mgubiko wa gases zinazozunguka as that is held in the place by the force is a force of gravity there. Lakini tunaambiwa kwamba the atmosphere of earth, yani the atmosphere earth ya ardhi is composed of nitrogen. Manake ndani ya atmosphere tunakutana gases ya earth kuna kuna nitrogen ambayo ina form about 78 or 78 percentage there. Oxygen about it take about uh, 21 uh, percentage na maana kiwango cha oxygen na ukiangalia kiwango cha nitrogen unakuta katika atmosphere ni kikubwa kiwango cha nitrogen lakini kiwango cha oxygen kinakuwa ni 21 percentages ambacho hichi kinakuwa ni very important for human being lakini vile vile kuna argons ambayo inachukua about 0.9 percentage and also there is carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide which take 0.04 percentage and other gases is stresses about lakini pia kuna gesi nyingine mbalimbali ambazo zinachukua nafasi katika as atmosphere. Okay. So by proceeding let us look about the vertical structure of atmosphere. Je, yeah. hii structure nzima ya atmosphere ikoje? Kwa kwamba tumeona what is atmosphere, tukasema kwamba it the an envelope of air. Tunasema kwamba ni ule mgubiko wa air surrounding the earth unaozunguka dunia which held in the space by the force of gravity ambao ume 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 umekaa katika sehemu ya sehemu maalum lakini unazuiliwa kutokana na au na unakontroliwa kutokana na zile force of gravity but still tukasema kwamba within the atmosphere ndani ya atmosphere there is different gases kuna gas to 440 there kwa mfano tumesema kwamba kuna nitrogen ambayo inachukua 78% lakini pia ndani ya atmosphere tunakutana na gesi nyingine to oxygen gas ambayo hii inachukua asilimia moja na tukasema hii gesi inakuwa ni very important for living for human being lakini pia tukasema kwamba kuna carbon dioxide gases pamoja na argon and other gases zote hizi ni composition of different gases ambazo zinazimo ndani ya uh, ndani ya ya, ya mkusanyiko ya, ya kitu kinachoitwa atmosphere there atmosphere na kusema maana yake gene justice ni anga ambayo tunaiona ye yeah. ndio that is hiyo ndio inatengeneza ile ile appearance ile what is atmosphere there ndio tunasema is an envelope of gases that surrounding the earth which heading the space by the force of gravity sasa je 
mathematical structure je hii atmosphere ikoje eh, muonekano wake ikoje ndokuzumzia kitu atmosphere sasa tumeambwa tumejua definition lakini je muonekano wake ukoje sasa katika muonekano wa vertical katika hali ya vertical eh, ya, ya, ya atmosphere umegawika katika layer maalum tayari eh? ina maana vertical structure of atmosphere is divided on a specific layer eh? or we can classify the particle structure of atmosphere in a specific unit layers there uh, ambo hii imegawiwa na, na wana science pamoja na wana geographer there uh, tukienda katika atmosphere is divided into layers there according to some major changes there tumeshazungumzia lakini tunasema kwamba layer ya kwanza kabisa inaitwa troposphere there katika hii nini tunayo tunayokusudia kwamba layer ya kwanza inakuwa ni hiyo troposphere there ambao troposphere hii inatoka kuanzia 0 hadi 12 km there ila kuna baadhi ya vitabu kwa mfano ukiangalia kina msabila katika vitabu vao nakuta wanazungumzia kwamba ina range kutoka 0 up to 16 pamoja kuja na 17 km there lakini ndani ya hii troposphere ikiwa kama layer ya kwanza ya particle structure ime contain asilimia 75 75 of gases in the ya 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 of the atmosphere this is is whereby we live lakini katika ile hii sasa ni pale ambapo sisi binadamu mimi na wewe mimi wewe mwanafunzi na mimi mwalimu wako pamoja na tofauti ndipo tunapoishi na maana sisi binadamu tunaishi katika ile ambayo inaitwa troposphere and where weather occur lakini vile vile zile weather situations zinatokea kwa mfano rainfall there natokezea as heat increase lakini vile vile kila mwinuko na kuongezeka za temperature decrease eh ndani sasa hapa kuna nafunzo kwa nauliza tiche inakuwaaje na maana sasa katika troposphere ndipo sasa kila mwinuko unapokwenda na juu basi vile vile na kile kiwango cha cha temperature kina decrease kinapungua the temperature drop about 0.6 degrees for Celsius for every kilometers eh, above the earth surface there the troposphere located on the top of the troposphere lakini vile vile kuna line maalum ambayo inaitwa troposphere hii na kwa inapatikana juu ya hii troposphere the temperature remain fairly constant hadi like at the temperature nyingi na kwa constant the layer is separated by troposphere from the sub subsphere uh, which uh, we define the jet stream ha lakini vile vile nakukuta kwamba zile jet 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 stream tutakuja kusoma baadaye zinakuwa zinapatikana hapa hizi zinakuwa kama ni kind of winds eh ambazo zinakuwa zina zinapatikana katika hii layer lakini tukiachana hiyo layer nyingine ya bii tunasema tukiachana troposphere ambapo tumegundua ni layer ya kwanza nyingine tu stratosphere stratosphere hii ina range kuanzia 12 hadi 50 km in the lower part of the troposphere stratosphere there lakini the temperature remain fairly constant ina kuwa constant kuanzia negative uh, minus 16 degrees celsius this layer contains the ozone layer ndani ya hii sasa tunakutana kitu kimoja kinaitwa ozone layer ndani ya stratosphere there ozone ozone layer inakuwa ina act as a shield for the earth surface there and observe ultraviolet na nataka nifahamishe kwa fupi kwamba uh, the second layer of vertical atmosphere uh, is stratosphere this layer range from 12 up to 15 kilometers but within this layer this, there is another layers that layer is known as uh, ozone layer so what is the rule of ozone layer the rule of ozone layer within this layer is to protect and the amount of solar radiation that come direct from the sun and uh, that came that came toward the earth surface are we together so inakuwa ina fiona ile ina 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 observe ile miyozi ya jua from the sun and it causes the temperature to increase in the upper part of the layer na hivyo basi kutokana na ile layer kuwepo katika juu ya hii stratosphere hii ozone layer kuwepo ile yote miyozi ya jua ambayo itatokana juu itakuja za kina chini itakuwa inafikia pale na kuweza kufanywa balance inaobakia pale sasa ina, ina, inafanywa observation au tunafanya observe na fiona tayari na kitendo kile cha end of the days tunakuta kwamba even the amount of temperature increase kwa sababu pale ile miyozi ya jua inakuwa ina 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 inabakia lakini tunasema vile vile layer nyingine ukiachana na stratosphere tuna mesosphere mesosphere hii inapatikana katika kuanzia mita 
kilomita hamsini hadi themanini italoa part of stratosphere lakini hii sasa tunasema kwamba this is a coldest region ina kwa mara nyingi ni sema ambayo iko coldest region and is area protecting the earth from the metal meteorites there eh? the, the burn up to this areas so meteorites na sasa kama kama ni vimombo tayari tumesoma from one level tayari lakini yenye kitu nasema kuna thermosphere tayari thermosphere ina range kuanzia 50 km na kuendelea the layer is it is thin iko very thin nyembamba sana iko very thin tayari thermosphere it uh, talk about means heat there sphere there the temperature is very high in this layer mara nyingi joto lake na kwa ni kubwa lakini vile vile ultraviolation radiation is turned into the heat and the temperature of 10 reach hadi 2000 there degrees celsius or more outside it contain layer like what inajumuisha layer kama ionosphere na maana kudania hii thermosphere kuna layer nyingine to ionosphere tayari kama tunavyoiona hapa lakini kuna layer nyingine ambayo ina extent kuanzia 80 hadi 550 but another layer tuna exosphere ambayo pia inapatikana ndani ya hii uh, hii thermosphere uh, lakini mwisho kabisa tunakuta hapo structure sasa ya atmosphere ikoje tayari kama tunavyoona chini huko tuna troposphere second one tuna stratosphere third one tuna mesosphere na last one tuna thermosphere kama tulivyoelezea kule tayari lakini tukiachana hapo diagram nyingine inaonyesha ni hapa hapa huko inaelezea troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere na exosphere tayari so apart from that we have advantages of our atmosphere eh, faida sasa za atmosphere ni zipi eh? faida ya kwanza the earth atmosphere act as a insulating na kwa ni insulating layer that it protect ambayo ina protect the earth surface na linda ardhi from the intense light and heat of the sun inakuwa ina kazi yake ni kulinda ile miuzi yote ya jua ambayo inapiga kutoka kwenye jua kuja ardhini kwa mfano tukuta ndani ya layers zile tuna ozone layer ambayo inafyonza ile miuzi ya jua ambayo inatoka direct from the sun lakini vile vile ina contain oxygen ndani faida yake nyingine kwamba atmosphere inajumuisha oxygen ambayo which we and other living organism breathe ambayo viumbe hai wanapumulia tayari lakini media for occurrence of weather event such as wind cloud lakini kwa ni kiunganishi kwa kutokea hizo weather weather tumeshasoma weather masuala kama vile mawingu upepo na rain na mvua inatokea ndani ya nini ya atmosphere na maana hii ni faida nyingine au muhimu mwingine wa atmosphere lakini pia zipo zipo nyingi tukiachana hizi so uh, the main issue you are supposed to think yourself as a student to revise your books kusoma uh, vitabu vyako na kuweza kuelewa more in detail uh, kuna vitabu vingi kwa mfano utakuta kitabu cha zisti kamili kuna kitabu cha msabila na vitabu vingine vingine utakatumia mtandao pia kuweza ku search more important and advantage for atmosphere so up to here that is our end of our lesson today so just today we have discussed the three main issues we have discussed what is atmosphere we have uh, discussed about the vertical structure of atmosphere and we have discussed the about uh, what we have discussed about importance or advantages of atmosphere all right together so up to here there is homework here explain six significance of atmosphere there and is there for the six of the atmosphere there okay and then second question with any diagram describe the vertical structure of atmosphere and it is composition kwa kutumia mchoro elezea sasa particle structure of atmosphere na pamoja na composition yake submit this question ni muhimu sana for you submit via email or whatsapp number thank you for listening this uh, this lesson uh, don't miss the next class we shall discuss about wind system subscribe for more video thank you very much bye bye